rights zao mm-hmm. hata ukiongelea constitution yetu ya 2010 it's really focusing on uplifting women amplifying their voices but yet we are not we are not there yet because ukiangalia swala kubwa sana linalosumbua kama wanawake ama kama nchi ama hata bara la Afrika nzima the prevalence rate of sexual violence rate iko juu sana ukiangalia hata report yenye imekuwa released ju, uh, previously last uh, last month na KDHS the Kenya Demographic Health Survey inaonyesha percentage kubwa sana ya wanawake wenye wana face bad sexual violence and gender based violence in general mm-hmm. so yes we are making progress because we are seeing more representation of women in uh, political spaces though it's not yet because hata unaona tumekuwa na a debate on uh, the affirmative action bill because representation of women bado iko chini kupitia kiwango chenye tuna tunatarajia mm-hmm. Tuna make progress but there is still more that we can do. We mm-hmm. can do more, we can do more. We need to embrace hiyo. And then ukiangalia pia swala linalotusumbua sana naweza sema mimi kama kama maybe mwanaharakati wa kijinsia mm-hmm. ni mambo ya culture. Mm-hmm. Most of the time unapata ni patch ya kindo inafanya mpaka kuna subjugation ya women kwa sababu kuna ile domi, male dominance yenye iko na normalization of sexual gender based violence and GBV and the discrimination of women. Watu tu wamezoea mwanamke yeye akae tu hapo asionge sana, asifanye kitu, asikue a leader or anything so that's what is eating us up the socialization yenye tumekuwa nayo na the acceptance that women cannot be better people in the society or rather they cannot take up spaces in the society mm-hmm. so it's something we can work on but we are making progress to get there mm-hmm. yeah katika pambano hili kuna watu ambao wana tafsiri vitofauti kwamba kila mnapozungumzia usawa mm-hmm. uh, katika jamii unahisi kabisa kwamba kuna, kuna, kuna jinsia ya kiume ambao anahisi kabisa kwamba hii ni vita kuna namna ambapo mnapigana vita kuweza kuhisha kwamba mwanaume anaenda chini eh, na sio tu kupigania usawa mm-hmm. yani badala ya nyinyi kupigania usawa mnapigania kumweka mwanaume chini ila nyinyi pia siku moja mjione pia mko pale ambapo wa, mwanaume ameishi miaka yote miaka mingi mm-hmm. eh, sema mbayo atasema kwamba culture Mm-hmm. Ai imembeba mwanamume imemweka pale siku nyingi. Sasa kama wanawake mko na mm na ni sisi sasa cha kufanya vita nambari moja mm-hmm. ni kumpiga mwanamume ashuke chini, afu na sisi tujipambanie twende juu. Hamtaki usamu na chokitaka ni kuweka mwanamume chini, yani kama vita fulani hivi. Hebu pambanua kidogo ili kuelewa kuhusu na hilo. Hiyo naweza sema ni opinion, mm-hmm. ni opinion ya mtu kulingana mm-hmm. na vinye yeye anafikiria, vinye ana digest and where they are coming from. But then when you just sit down na reflect, uangalie kwenye tume toka. Ni the same way hata ukitaka ku maybe let's say today you want to start up a savings plan. Si unaangalia kwenye umetoka. Yeah and then you now decide then this is what I'll be doing ama uh, like this is what I'll be putting aside and everything these are the strategies I'll put in place to ensure that nimepata kenye nataka mm-hmm. it's the same way with people or rather with wanaharakati wa kijinsia wenye wamekuja wakasema tunataka tupiganie haki za wanawake mm-hmm. si eti tuna introduce ama tuna tunaleta haki mpya ni haki zenye zimekuwa hapo for a very long time mm-hmm. it's just that people have been assuming them people have been ignoring them kwa constitution yetu tumekuwa nayo kwa miaka mingapi since it's the introduction na ikakuwa ikakuwa um, promulgated tena na ikakuwa accepted right to life imekuwa hapo ha huh? right to uh, enjoy freedom of uh, speech freedom of expression lakini ukiangalia bado women rights zao zinakuwa violated That's why I keep going back kusema kama shirika tuna focus on sexual gender based violence kwa sababu imekuwa it's one of the major human rights concern that we having in Kenya today kwa sababu ya how it has been uh, inflicted upon women and then pia jambo linalotusumbua zaidi ni the fact that perpetrators more of, most of them are men So unaangalia like Texas back it's not that we are fighting to put men down we are just fighting for our space Men can do their own thing but we're just fighting for this woman to be respected in the society mm-hmm. to be respected at their workplace to re- to be respected in their business spaces juzi kumekuwa na hiyo release ya BBC ya wanawake wenye walikuwa sexually harassed so you look at it most of them were men it's not women who are uh, perpetrators in that scene so it tells you from the research from the revealings that are being uh, given out here ni wanawake bado wanasumbuka no matter how the conversation shifts it's still women who are being uh, suffering. Mm-hmm. 
Hebana maoni yako kwa 0779091993 tunaye wa uh, tunaye Wendy kutoka Wangu Kanja Foundation na leo ni siku ya mwanamke ama siku ya wanawake duniani na ndio kitu ambacho kimefanya hapa leo hii hapa tuko naye tunazungumza tunashare mambo mengi sana kama una SMS ya kwa kama unataka kuiweka bana tuwafanye hapo kwa 0790199143 na lazima ni appreciate baadhi ya watu ambao pia wamecheck upande wa pili kupitia SMS line ya kwangu na 